how are you doing today? I hope that you're doing amazing and fantastic and wonderful. Today's video is all about the summer releases that I am most excited for. There are so many freaking good cozy mysteries that are coming out this summer and I just I have nine that I am super super stoked about that some of them I just learned were coming out. So I have my handy dandy list and let's jump into this. The first one is Peg and Rose Play the Ponies. So I am currently reading the first book in the series and I'm reading it physically and it's just, it is so good. I love the sassy sort of relationship that Peg and Rose have, like a love-hate relationship and I love their history. Uh, Rose is a, um, she was a nun and then she uh, married a ex pastor priest and it's just just they're just so good but this time they are finding themselves in a horsey whodunit and when a um a yearling manager bites the dust they are going to go and try and figure out what has happened they have to untangle the webs before this dog and pony show you know gets out of hand so that's peg and rose play the ponies the next book that I have is The Last Draft by Agatha Frost. I didn't even know that she had a new cozy mystery series coming out. I am so behind on the Pierdell Cafe mystery series and her Claire Candles series. So Ellie Swift is leaving her coffee shop and is replacing, um, sort of helping after her grandmother breaks her hip in the bookshop. And there is a mystery behind a stolen manuscript and she's trying to figure out uh, what happened and she's gonna be diving into history and that just sounds right in my alley. So that one looks really cute. We've got the second book in the Resort to Murder series by Annie McEwen and this is Dead White and Blue and it's a 4th of July cozy mystery and this this family the Cooper family is just absolutely amazing. Like they are a hug on paper. I am dying to find out what's going to be happening happening in Emmy's life with her job and is she going to be staying home is she, like all of these things like I'm just I'm attached to these characters already and I've only read book one the next book I have is there's no murder like show murder by MS Green I actually got an advanced reader copy of this book sent to me by the author and I'm very very stoked this follows Tasha Weaver who steps into the spotlight after a Broadway reject is shot on stage Tasha and her crush uh, Bruno and her cat Hilly are going to untangle the crime. I love that this is a on stage theater kind of cozy mystery. It just sounds so flipping good. So the next book that I have is um, the second in the uh, Charlotte Isles is not a detective but this is Charlotte Isles is not a teacher and think like Harriet the Spy. This girl was a um, a childhood amateur sleuth, like Newt Nancy Drew, uh, Harriet the Spy, like that kind of vibe. But now she is this um, mid twenties young lady, full of like all of this like spirit and cursing, and um, there's LGBT representation, and it's just so freaking good and I'm very very excited for the second book in the series and the fact that she is going to be solving a mystery within middle school and I've taught middle school that's just like the icing on the cake I can't wait to dive in the next book I have is Sticks and Scones by Ellie Alexander. This is book 19 in the Bake Shop Mystery series. And this time we are following Shakespeare and Springtime. There is a local actor who is killed and it's up to Jules and her lovely bunch of people, I'm assuming Lance as well, to figure out the whodunit. I'm not gonna dive too deep into where Jules is personally and things like that, but Guys, I'm so excited for this one. I've already pre-ordered it. We have Kill or Be Killed by Jeannie Martz. This is the second in the beekeeping series. I think that's what it's called. I read the first book. I think it was last month and I absolutely adored it. We've got feisty senior sleuths. We've got a mom and daughter relationship that sort of reminds me of Gilmore Girls. And the mom is a murder mystery writer. And there's just so many amazing quirky characters in this series that I 
I am automatically going to be getting the second book in the series. In this one, there is a bee festival and a um, celebrity <laughs> host is found dead. So, I mean, I'm already down for celebrity hosts and reality TV. I watch Big Brother religiously. And so this sounds fantastic. Okay, the next two books are actually coming out on the same day. Ellie Alexander has a new series called the Secret Bookcase series. And the first book, um, The Body in the Bookstore and Murder at the Movies, book two, are coming out on June 19th, I believe. And the, the setup is just so, so good. So we've got bookseller Anne Murray. Um, she is creating a mystery themed festival, which is sort of like the Ashland mystery uh, fest that happens in Ashland. Um, and it hits a bump when a body is found behind a secret bookshelf. And Annie and her friends must piece together the clues to catch the killer and save the small town event, which is also trying to save the bookshop that she um, is working in. And of course there's a mystery within a mystery because Ellie does that so freaking well. And I am so stoked. So stoked. For book two, A Murder at the Movies, um, Anne Murray's film festival debut gets a Hitchcockian twist when a film critic falls to his death. With Hollywood secrets bubbling to the surface, Annie must unravel the sinister plot to save her festival and avoid her own suspenseful ending. Bum, bum, bum! I am super, super excited. I feel like these are must read cozy mysteries that are coming out this summer. Let me know, did I miss any that you guys are really excited to get your hands on? You know that I'm all about just adding to my never ending TBR, but I hope you enjoyed this chapter of Courtagonist. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time guys, happy reading. Bye.